Okay. Determine all functions f, z to z by Kyler. So the problem is, let z be the set of integers. Determine all functions f, z to z such that for all integers a and b, f of 2a plus 2f of b equals f of f of a plus b. So this is quite a challenging problem for most of us. In the 2019 IMO math contest, 100 countries sent their six, top six mathematicians to this contest. And almost half of them got this question wrong or not perfect score. So to solve this, we can create another equation because f of f of a plus b is quite a tricky thing and we don't really want it to be here. So in the second equation, since a and b uh, both can be any integer, we can swap the numbers and they both have to still hold. So this is valid. So we can now subtract the two equations so that f of f of a plus b is canceled and we no longer have to deal with it. So therefore we get f of 2b minus f of 2a plus 2f of a minus 2f of b, which is equivalent to zero. We can now subtract 2f of b minus 2f of a to both sides and get f of 2b minus f of 2a equals f of 2, uh, equals 2f of b minus 2f of a. Now we can both, we can divide both sides by 2b minus 2a. So we get f 2b minus f of 2a divided by 2b minus 2a equals 2f of b minus 2f of a divided by 2b minus 2a. This should instantly remind you of the slope equation. And since f of 2b minus f of 2a divided by 2b minus 2a equals f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a, so the twos cancel out on the right-hand side. We know that this is a linear equation because both sides have an equivalent slope, but not being on the same uh, coordinates since the left-hand side is being multiplied by two. The slope is the same, so we have a linear equation. Determining the functions. Since f is linear, the form of the function f of z to z will be fx equals mx plus b. Although we already have a b variable, so we cannot use b, and we're going to swap out the b variable for the letter n. So f of 2a plus 2f of b equals f of f of 2 uh, of a plus b. 2f of a plus 2f of b equals f of f of a plus f of b. Then 2f of a plus f of b equals f of f of a plus f of b. So this is the third equation that we're going to use. So let's let f of a plus f of b equal to x. So we're going to we're going to replace all of f of a plus f of b's that we see in this equation this equation 3 with x. So that means 
we get fx equals 2x. Because if you swap this out, we get, if you swap this entire thing out with x, we get simply 2x equals, you swap this part out, this becomes f of x. So we have 2x equals f of x. This is a linear function. And the general form of this linear function is f of x equals 2x plus n. And in special cases, when it's 0, f of x equals 0. So we can now verify our answer. We can verify our answer by plugging our answer back into the equation. And we simply replace f with f of x equals 2x plus n. So this is the original equation. And we simply replace f with f of x equals 2x plus n. So that means we get 2 times 2a plus n plus 2 times 2 times b plus n. And that equals 2 times 2 times a plus b plus n plus n. So then we get 4a plus n plus 4b plus 2n equals 2 times 2a plus 2b plus 2n plus n. So then we get 4a plus 4b plus 3n equals 4a plus 4b plus 3n if we simplify and combine some of the terms. Since both sides are equal, we know that our answer is correct because it holds.